Good evening, and welcome to Election Night in America 2024. Tulsi Gabbard is the Democratic nominee, and Ron DeSantis is the Republican nominee. Tulsi Gabbard is the Democratic nominee again. She is a U.S. representative from the state of Hawaii. She is framed from her 2020 presidential one run where she stayed in the race uh, quite longer than many of the other candidates. She is a critic of her own Democratic Party as she was in 2020. Uh, uh, the estab- she is hated by the establishment Democratic Party. Um, they did not support her in 2020. And they do not again, of course, because of the fact that she distances herself from the Democratic establishment. And she also distances herself away from the unpopular President Biden. This is a strategic move definitely but um it's you know likely her own political opinions as well and her approval rating is at 53 percent because she is a soldier many u.s soldiers and veterans are supporting her on the democratic and republican side Ron DeSantis is the Republican nominee. He's the incumbent governor of Florida. He won re-election in 2022, a red wave year. He campaigns against the Biden administration. He is Trump-backed in the primary. He was extremely conservative, very similar to Trump, who did not, who chose not to compete in the primary. In in the primary side, we see Trump is peeking over his shoulder there, and his approval rating is at 49 percent. Now we have our 7 p.m. poll closings in Vermont. Virginia, South Carolina, Georgia, Kentucky, and Indiana. In Vermont, three electoral votes will go to Tulsi Gabbard, a Democratic stronghold. Sure, it might be very progressive, and Tulsi Gabbard may be a bit uh, more conservative than many Democrats, but mainly a moderate. She will win the state because it is a Democratic state. And in Kentucky, eight electoral votes will go to Ron DeSantis, no surprise here. And in, Indi- and in Indiana, 11 electoral votes, Ron DeSantis is the projected winner. And in Virginia, 13 electoral votes, which has a Republican governor, Glenn Youngkin. This is a state that will not be too close to call. Surprise to many. Tulsi Gabbard's moderate roots are really connecting with the voters here. She will win that solid block of Democratic votes because she is distancing herself away from the president. And in Georgia, 16 electoral votes is too close to call. Um, 87% of the vote is in. DeSantis leads by 0.6%. Now, uh, this is a state where Ron DeSantis will have the upper hand for the sole reason of, of because he comes from the, the South. He comes from the Sun Belt. He's really going to connect with these voters. Uh, and Tulsi Gabbard will not as much. This was a state that flipped to the Democratic side in 2020, went to Biden by less than 1%. And in South Carolina, nine electoral votes. Ron DeSantis will win here another southern state where he has the advantage. Now we have our electoral map, or our first electoral map of the night. Uh, Ron DeSantis leads with 28 electoral votes to Tulsi Gabbard's 16. Now we have our 7.30 p.m. poll closings in Ohio, West Virginia, and North Carolina. In Ohio, 17 electoral votes are too close to call. 75% of the vote is in Trump. I'm sorry, DeSantis leads by 8%, a big margin. He is expected to win this state by about 7-8%. to 8%. This was a state that went to Trump in 2020. And in West Virginia, 4 electoral votes. Ron DeSantis will win here, no surprise. And in North Carolina, 16 electoral votes are too close to call 82% votes in, and Gabbard leads by 0.3%. Now we have our new electoral vote count. Uh, DeSantis still leads with 33 electoral votes to Gabbard 16. Now we have our 8, 8 p.m. poll closing. Sorry about that. In Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, D.C., Maryland, Delaware, Illinois, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Missouri, and Oklahoma. In Mississippi, six electoral votes will go to Ron DeSantis. In Alabama, nine electoral votes. Ron DeSantis will win here. And in Massachusetts, 11 electoral votes. Tulsi Gabbard is the projected winner of a heavily Democratic state. Um, New Hampshire, four electoral votes. This is a region, you know, this is a pretty Democratic state. But her moderate roots are really connecting with these voters here, and she will win. In Florida, 30 electoral votes are too close to call. 83% votes in and DeSantis. This is DeSantis' home state, remember. DeSantis leads by 4.2%, a pretty good margin. He is expected to win this state. And in Rhode Island, 4 electoral votes. Tulsi Gabbard is a projected winner. Connecticut, 7 electoral votes will go to Tulsi Gabbard. And in Missouri, 10 electoral votes will go to Ron DeSantis. Um, in Illinois, 19 electoral votes. Tulsi Gabbard is the projected winner here. And in Oklahoma, 7 electoral votes. Ron DeSantis will win. In Tennessee, 11 electoral votes. Ron DeSantis will win. And in Washington, D.C., the most liberal part of the country, 3 electoral votes will go to Tulsi Gabbard. And in Delaware, 3 electoral votes. Tulsi Gabbard will win. 
And in Maryland, 10 electoral votes, Gabbard will win here. And in, Ju in New Jersey, another 14 electoral votes will go to the Gabbard campaign. And in Pennsylvania, a very crucial swing state, 19 electoral votes are still t are still up for grabs. It's too close to call here. 83% of votes in, and Gabbard leads in a very close race. She only leads by 0.05%. And in Maine's 1st District, on, in one electoral vote, Tulsi Gabbard will win. And in Maine's 2nd District, the more rural part of Maine, one electoral vote is, is projected to go to Ron DeSantis. And Maine at large, two electoral votes, Maine's popular vote will go to Tulsi Gabbard. Now Gabbard takes the lead with 95 electoral votes to DeSantis' 77. Now, now we have our 8.30 p.m. poll closings in Arkansas. In Arkansas, six electoral votes will go to Ron DeSantis. And now uh, Gabbard still leads with 95 electoral votes to the Republicans, 83. And now we have our 9 p.m. poll closings in many states here in New York, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, Wyoming, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, and Louisiana. In New York, 28 electoral votes, a large block of electoral votes. Tulsi Gabbard is the projected winner. In Kansas, six electoral votes. Ron DeSantis will win. And in South Dakota, three electoral votes. Ron DeSantis will win here. And in North Dakota and Nebraska's third district, one electoral vote. Ron DeSantis will win. And in Nebraska's first district, one electoral vote will go to Ron DeSantis. And in Nebraska's second district, one electoral vote is too close to call. 89% of the vote is in. And DeSantis leads by 1.2%. And now we have Nebraska at large. Two electoral votes. Nebraska's popular vote will go to Ron DeSantis. And in Arizona, 11 electoral votes are too close to call. 76% uh, votes in. And Gabbard leads by 1.3%. And in Colorado, 10 electoral votes will, will go to Tulsi Gabbard. And in New Mexico, 5 electoral votes. Tulsi Gabbard will win here. And in Wyoming, 3 electoral votes. DeSantis will win. Louisiana, 8 electoral votes will go to the DeSantis campaign. And in Texas, 40 electoral votes are too close to call. 78% of votes, and then DeSantis leads by 7.1%. DeSantis is uh, projected to win the state by a heavy margin. And in Minnesota, 10 electoral votes will go to Tulsi Gabbard. In Michigan, 15 electoral votes are too close to call. 83% of votes, and then DeSantis leads by 0.4%. And in Wisconsin, 10 electoral votes are too close to call. 90% of votes, and, and Gabbard leads by 0.9%. Now we have our new electoral map. Uh, Gabbard still leads with 148 electoral votes to DeSantis' 110. Now we have our 10 p.m. poll closings in Montana, Iowa, Utah, and Nevada. In Utah, 6 electoral votes. Ron DeSantis is the projected winner. In Montana, 4 electoral votes. DeSantis will win here. In Iowa, 6 electoral votes. DeSantis will win. And in Nevada, 6 electoral votes are too close to call. 95% of the votes in, and Gabbard leads by 3.6%. Now we have our new electoral vote count. Gabbard leads with 148 electoral votes to DeSantis' 125. Now we have our 11 p.m. poll closings in Idaho, Oregon, Washington, California, and Hawaii. In Idaho, four electoral votes will go to Ron DeSantis. Now in Oregon, eight electoral votes. Tulsi Gabbard will win. In Washington, 12 electoral votes. Tulsi Gabbard is the projected winner. And now California. The... Uh, so many electoral votes here. I'll just put it simply. Tulsi Gabbard will win. Heavily Democratic area, and she will carry the state's 54 electoral votes. And in Hawaii, her home state, she will win its four electoral votes. So now, we have our new electoral vote count. Gabbard leads by heavy, heavy margins, more than one, or a little less than 100 electoral votes. She leads with 226 electoral votes to DeSantis' 129. Now we have our 1 p.m. poll closings in Alaska. In Alaska, three electoral votes will go to Ron DeSantis. Now we have a major, major projection. In the state of Georgia, and its 16 electoral votes will go to Ron DeSantis. This was too close to call state earlier, but DeSantis' southern roots are really playing a role here. Now, Gabbard still leads with 226 to DeSantis' 148. And in Texas, 38 electoral votes, a major pickup for the DeSantis campaign. As project, or as uh, you know, predicted earlier, Ron DeSantis will carry the state of Texas. And in Nevada, 6 electoral votes, Tulsi Gabbard will win here. So now, Gabbard has 232 to DeSantis' 186. With Texas, he has narrowed it up big time. And in Florida, 29 electoral votes. His home state, Ron DeSantis, is a projected winner. This puts, this puts him right back in the race. This is anyone's game now. And in Ohio, 18 more electoral votes. Ron DeSantis is the projected winner. So now, Ron DeSantis leads the race. When he was down by 100 electoral votes just a minute earlier, 
He leads by one. It is 232 to 233. This is an extremely close race. In Michigan, we can now call Michigan's 16 electoral votes will go to Tulsi Gabbard, a major win for the Gabbard campaign. And in Nebraska's second district, only one electoral vote, but uh, symbolizes that they are powerful. Tulsi Gabbard will win. Now Gabbard has 249 to DeSantis, 233. 270 electoral votes are needed to win. And in North Carolina, 15 electoral votes. Another southern state, Ron DeSantis will carry. And in Arizona, a major, major update. He was uh, predicted to win in North Carolina, but Arizona was really a toss-up. 11 electoral votes will go to Ron DeSantis from the state of Arizona. And in Wisconsin, 10 electoral votes will go to Tulsi Gabbard. This is very major. Uh, Her moderate roots are really playing a role in Wisconsin. And in Pennsylvania... 20 electoral votes will go to Tulsi Gabbard. And Tulsi Gabbard has been elected the President of the United States with Pennsylvania with 279 electoral votes. Pennsylvania was the last state. It really came down to the wire. Now we have our final electoral map. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard has carried the entire blue wall. This is what she needed. The South was expected to go to DeSantis. She really needed to carry that blue wall, and she has. If she had just lost one of them, she wouldn't have won the presidency. So Tulsi Gabbard has won with 279 electoral votes to Ron DeSantis's 259. Good night.